Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, BCDX257 from virtualelephant.com. And in this video, we're going to discuss one of the challenges facing CIOs and IT organizations today, how to transform their workforce. In this video, we're going to walk through how to go from an IT siloed model into a cloud model that will enable your teams, both from a skills enablement and a team structure perspective, to be successful as we move forward in this multi-cloud world and march towards 2030. Let's get started. Traditionally, we've seen IT organizations structured as separate distinct teams. This is what we refer to as the siloed approach. The original thinking was that by having specialized teams focusing on their areas of expertise, we could achieve greater efficiency and depth of knowledge. Each team would be an expert in their own domain such as networking, storage, security, database management, and so on. The idea was to have specialists who could dive deep into their respective areas and deliver top quality results. However, over time, this approach led to unforeseen challenges. Communication between these specialized teams was often limited, which hampered collaboration. As each team focused on its own priorities, the larger organizational objectives and strategies often took a back seat. In addition, managers and directors expanded their domain in an effort to increase their influence and protect their individual team members. The end results led to overall inefficiency, less adaptability to changing business needs, and ironically, the very thing this approach was designed to avoid, it slowed progress. While the siloed model had its advantages in a different era, it doesn't quite meet the agility and scalability that modern businesses demand in order to be successful in this cloud world we live in today. That's why it's time to rethink the approach. Enter the cloud model, a transformative approach to IT management. In this model, rather than maintaining a hierarchical command and control structure, management should be decentralized. The authority to make key decisions is spread across various levels of the organization, enabling faster and more responsive action. Teams in the cloud model are based on work streams or specific business needs rather than isolated specializations. Such a model naturally fosters enhanced communication and collaboration. The team members, being part of a cross-functional team, have a broader view of the company's goals and strategic initiatives. This helps break down the silos that have existed in the traditional IT setup of the last 20 years. In an era where businesses are evolving at breakneck speed, this structure allows teams to pivot quickly to address emerging needs, enhance the overall agility of your IT organization. Adopting a cloud model within your IT organization offers an abundance of benefits. One of the most compelling benefits is the increased efficiency in managing infrastructure, both on-prem and in the public cloud. With resources and teams not tied to a specific location or rigid a structure, you gain the ability to leverage the best of both on-prem and public cloud environments, both flexibly and efficiently. More importantly, the cloud model nurtures a culture of innovation. When you have teams that span functions, that are encouraged to communicate, to collaborate, and to take ownership, you're not just building a workforce that can deliver today, you're fostering an environment that continuously evolves for tomorrow. The boundaries of what's possible expand and innovation becomes a natural outcome rather than a forced initiative. And let's not forget the profound impact that this transformation has on the individual employees within an IT organization. The employees are no longer confined to their specialized silos. Instead, they get to interact with a diverse group of team members, interact with individuals they might not otherwise have been able to do so within the organization, to be able to grow their skill set and continue on the path of continuous learning which is so critical in the technology in IT space. By working in smaller project-based teams, each member has a greater sense of ownership and contribution and responsibility, and they can see the difference that they're making each day from within the organization. Furthermore, the cloud model encourages innovation at all levels, not just at the top. In this open, collaborative environment, every employee has the chance to voice their ideas to challenge the norms, and to be part of the change. This empowerment fuels engagement. It fosters a sense of belonging 
and can significantly boost morale and productivity throughout the transformation and beyond. Transforming the workforce isn't a one-step process. It's going to be a journey. As a CIO or senior leader, you have the critical role of navigator in this journey. Here are a few concrete steps to help guide you and your organization on this transformative path. One, emphasize the vision. This isn't just about shifting to a new operational model. It's about unlocking the potential for greater agility, fostering a culture of innovation, and ensuring that your IT operations are aligned with your overall business objectives. This vision should be communicated clearly and frequently to all team members to ensure everyone understands the shared goal. Two, while you need buy-in from your existing managers, don't be afraid to make bold changes that will impact them. This is where most transformations fail. Leadership allows mediocrity to continue to exist because it's easier to leave things as is rather than have a difficult conversation with an individual that won't necessarily have a place in the organization any longer. There is going to be resistance as these managers will see their domains of influence reduced or eliminated in the decentralized cloud model. Address this by emphasizing how the new model allows them to have a greater impact by enabling the full potential of their teams and the employees they care about. Reinforce that their roles are not being diminished, but rather being evolved to become enablers of success across the organization. Three, foster collaboration and shared ownership. Encourage teams to break down the silos and work together cross-functionally. Shared ownership isn't just about shared responsibilities, it's about shared successes. In this environment, everyone has a role to play and everyone shares in the outcome. And four, lead by example. Create a culture that's not afraid to experiment, to change, and even to fail sometimes. By doing so, you'll cultivate an environment where learning and growth are prioritized over playing it safe. Show your teams that it's okay to take calculated risks and to learn from the outcomes, good or bad. Your actions will set the tone for the entire organization. So let's paint a picture of what this new model is going to look like in practice. Picture an organizational structure where management is no longer strictly top-down. Imagine instead a fluid, adaptable structure that allows for decisions to be made closer to the action. At the top, you'll still have your director of IT reporting to your CIO to provide overarching direction and support but the core decisions are being made within the teams themselves. These teams are formed based off of work streams or strategic initiatives, and they're going to be the beating heart of your organization. Within each team, you're going to have a mix of talents and specialties. This isn't about creating many IT departments. It's about bringing together the people best suited to achieve a specific goal. These are your cross-functional teams where a network expert might sit side by side with a cloud specialist, a security analyst, or a database engineer. At the helm of these teams, you're going to have team leads. However, these aren't your typical managers. They're going to be enablers, mentors, and coordinators. They have considerable flexibility and decision-making power, but their primary role is to ensure that the team has everything it needs to succeed to remove roadblocks and promote collaboration. What's crucial in this model is fluidity. Unlike traditional models where you stick to a set role or department, in the cloud model, movement between teams is encouraged based on strategic goals, projects, and shifting initiatives. This lateral movement isn't just about meeting business needs. It's about personal development for the employees, skill expansion, and maintaining engagement within your workforce. This, in essence, is the cloud model in practice. It's an environment that encourages collaboration, fosters innovation, and keeps your IT organizations agile and in tune with the broader business objective. It's the model built for the future. In conclusion, workforce transformation in IT is not just about changing the structure of your teams. It's about embracing a new way of working, a way that fosters collaboration, innovation, and agility, and above all, alignment with your business objectives. It's about creating an environment where teams are not just functional groups, but dynamic work streams aligned to the ebb and flow of your business needs. 
While the siloed model may have had served its purpose in a different era, today's business landscape demands more. It demands the agility, the cross-functional collaboration, and the innovation fostered by the cloud model. It's about moving from rigid hierarchies to decentralized, empowered teams, from isolated specialists to cross-functional collaborators. Embarking on this journey might seem daunting, but the potential rewards, in terms of efficiency, agility, and the overall business alignment, are significant. As leaders in IT, you have the opportunity to not just observe this transformation, but to drive it. I hope this video has provided you with a useful perspective on workforce transformation. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more insights into the world of enterprise architecture and digital transformation. If you have any questions, thoughts, or just want to engage in a more in-depth conversation, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter or drop a comment below. Until next time.